This is Top Gamer 007. Before we get started with the VGB Bulletin, the, the links to all news articles and timestamp is going to be in the description below. And let's get started. <laughs> VGB Bulletin news of August 1st to August 5th. Let's get started with the Square Enix news. Dragon Quest 11 sold 2 million units in Japan in two days. As of this recording, it sold 1.1 million units on the 3DS. And I did know the 3DS version will be popular because Japanese love handheld gaming. The PS4 version sold 800,000 units, more than 800,000 units. That's still a lot for two days because the PlayStation 4 sold 5 million in Japan compared to the 3DS 22 million in Japan, obviously. It's a good number. And I cannot wait until 2018 to play Square Enix two biggest games, Kingdom Hearts 3 and Dragon Quest 11. I am curious. How Dragon Quest 11 is gonna sell in the West. Let's move on with VG Bulletin Mini, a new part of the bulletin that reports smaller Nintendo, Square Enix, and Sega news without that much comments. And let's get started with Splatoon 2 news. A returning weapon from the first game called the Sploosh Omatic. It is a short range and low accuracy shooter with a high fire rate and high attack power. It comes with a curling bomb sub weapon and a splashdown special. It should release a Splatoon 2 today. Keep, keep tuned to all Splatoon news and updates on this channel. Let's move on to a possible rumor that Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon news may arrive on tonight's Pokemon Chen. Um, is a Japanese Japanese show. People are speculating to a new Latin rock form. Although it's not confirmed, the cover image of what it sh looks like a Latin rock with a different color scheme and aesthetic changes. So it's possible that they might be showing this new Lonic form at the new pon Ponechi. Ponechi. I probably but butcher that. Let's move on to. News about Rhyme. Rhyme launches for the Switch on November 14th in North America and November 17th in Europe. The digital version will cost $29.99 or $30. I'll call it $30. And the physical version is a whopping $10 more with collectibles at $39.99. Let's move on to some Aya Sasuna news. Aya Sasuna received a first discount on the Switch eShop. The price dropped to $26.79 from its original price of $39.99. Price tag at launch. Let's move on to Virtuous news. Nintendo Everything states that Virtuous is porting a AAA title to the Switch. It is possible that the Batman Trilogy or the Assassin's Creed Exum Collection or the Final Fantasy X or Final Fantasy XII Remaster could be coming to the system because they made these remasters in the past. It's possible that they're porting it to the Switch. But it could even be possible that a new port. All we could do is wait and see. Let's move on to some 2K news. NBA 2K is releasing digitally on the Switch first and physically will release later this year. 2K didn't give a reason for the delay. It's possible that the cartridges is taking a long time to manufacture or something with that. And that's why it's releasing digitally. Probably they have the game ready, but it's for launch, but not physically. I mean, they don't want to delay the whole game. So we all we can do is Wait for the physical version if you want it, and or if you, if you can't wait, get the digital version. Alright, let's move on to some Capcom news. Resident Evil Revelations and Resident Evil Revelations 2 have been recently been announced for the Nintendo Switch. It isn't that much information on the version besides the fact that it will be coming late 2017. 
at least Capcom is telling the truth that they are preparing multiple Switch games. Let's move on to some Sega Atlas news. Atlas announced three games. Persona Q2, sequel to Persona Q for the 3DS, and Persona 3 Dancing Moon Knight, and Persona 5 Dancing Star Knight. These ga two games are releasing on the PS4 and the Vita in Japan in 2018. Let's continue with some Sega news. Let's go back to our normal VG style. Sega announced that special stages will be in included in Sonic Mania. It has been since been confirmed that bonus stages and time attacks are in the game. The press release from the press release that describes the special stages, bonus stages, and time attacks is from Nintendo Everything and it's gonna be in the description below. So let's get started. Quote unquote. And I read the quote unquote. In the blue spears, players navigate Sonic Tails or Knuckles. Through a series of blue spears, the clear the stage. Be careful! Once touched, the blue spears will turn red. Turning red, turning a red spear instantly ends the bonus stage. S silver medallions are awarded to players who complete the bonus stage with collecting all the blue spears and rings rewards players with a perfect score and a gold medallion. Time Attack was also revealed to be one of the new modes on in Sonic Mania. Prove that you're the best in Time Attack. With less players, less players, compete for the fastest speed in the world by recording their time in the game online leaderboards. In the special stages, players chase down enemies UFOs to secure various Chaos Emeralds. Collecting blue spurs along the way will give their character an additional speed to their meter. Once the meter is filled up, the mock level increase. Just watch out and don't speed off the stage. Man, I cannot wait until Sonic Media. Released later this month, I am going to buy the game two times, twice, once on the Switch and another on the PC, and I hope the community will make mods to make the game enjoyable for years to come like the community did for Sonic Generations on PC. And any Sonic Mania mod that interest that is interesting, I will make a video on it. About the mods. About the mods. And I cannot wait. I cannot wait to see what the community is gonna do with Sonic Forces. All we can do is wait and see. So yes, it's about time to end my video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want videos like this one. This is Top Gamer 007, and I see you in the next one.